The chances of you dying during an anesthetic when you are in Africa, very high. It really was hard to keep my mouth closed because I've never seen anything that extreme. What do you do with a girl that, that needs a cesarean section? He said uh, rather nonchalantly, oh, she just dies. She just dies. Vanderbilt International Anesthesia wants to be involved in the service and education and research. We noticed that there were not anesthesia care providers in the rural setting. And so as a result of that, we decided to start training nurses to do anesthesia. We do about 10,000 cases a year, and so it provides a great opportunity to train not only Kenyans, but also to have residents and fellows to come out and have a, a wonderful experience. The Kenyan nurse anesthetist students are very bright. They're at, in the top of their nursing classes. That's why they're chosen to, to become a part of this. If you train one Kenyan nurse to do anesthesia, who then goes out to the rural sector, she's going to save many, many lives. I taught introductory nursing students, about 30 of them. Several of them approached me independently and said, thank you so much for coming and talking to us. I learned so much from you. We were in a class of eight students. We finished and uh, about five of us remained in Kijabe Hospital. Others were taken to various other hospitals for the same service. And the report that we have received from there is that they are doing a remarkable job. It has really uplifted the standards of anesthesia, which is one of the most dangerous practices in Africa. It makes them proud of being a Kenyan. It amazed me that this child was still even alive and to explain to her that her child does not have feeling pretty much from the waist down. Um, there were tears and it, it, was, it, it was difficult, but you also see how we were able to get her set up with surgery for her child and follow-up care. Our patients are poor. The patients don't have any money. Medically, the needs are staggering and they're hurting and they and we can help them. We just can't survive without donations. Individuals are involved. I mean, we have people all the time give $25 or $50 or $100 or $500 or $1,000. For about $2,500, we're able to train one of these nurses for 12 to 16 months. When you go over there and you teach someone how to do a safe anesthetic, and they go back and share it with a couple people, they share it with a couple of people, and before you know it, you know, you've dramatically affected a continent's health care. If people want to latch on to something where they can have an impact in a country which is far, far away, that has great medical needs, and they can't go themselves, I mean, this is a great opportunity to be involved in Vanderbilt International Anesthesia. Vanderbilt's very good at education, so we need to export education. We are committed to being in Africa for a long time. My wife and I, we plan on going back probably six months out of every year for the rest of our lives. It's, it's, it's a life-changing event. Small things here have great impact. One person can make a difference, and I, I hope to make that difference again and again and again. He said, what you are doing with training of our own nurses in our country, we'll remember you forever.